So do you ever feel like you're bothering people when you send an email newsletter or share your content on social media or when you send something privately to, to somebody? So I want to talk about this because this was actually brought up in one of my workshops. Somebody asked um, that they feel you know, kind of shy or uh, kind of embarrassed or kind of taking someone's time, even when they send an email newsletter. I don't know if you've ever felt that way, but I'll be honest with you, I actually feel um, kind of nervous every time before I send an email newsletter, um, every time before I post something. Uh, and still to this day, right, after having posted more than a thousand videos to bother you all, <laughs> and posted, you know, more than a thousand, well, I have blog posts accompanying many of those videos. Um, in, in, the, in the early days, they used to be all just uh, writings on top of the video, but then eventually I started doing blog posts and email newsletters, etc. So I don't know, do you, do you ever feel that way? This is a sense of like, oh my gosh, okay, I'm going to do it now, you know, that kind of feeling. Um, and, and maybe even before you do it, you, you already are kind of defeating uh, yourself or discouraging yourself by saying, well, why bother, you know, does anyone really care? Or am I really kind of taking time out of their day? All right. So first of all, if you think that way, I think uh, you're in the right place. At, at least I, I really like being around people who are that thoughtful. Um, then that's really what it is. You are just very considerate of other people. That's why you would ask such a question. And that's a very good trait. I hope you'll never lose that sense of consideration. On the other hand, there's a couple of things you have to remember also. Number one, people are bored. Okay, so there are, there, when, they, when, when they check social media, they're not going, gosh, I hope I'm using my time efficiently here. When they check social media, it's because they're bored or they're looking for some picker up, picker up or something to kind of uplift them, educate them, entertain them, right? Why do you so share, you know, do social media? You know, trying to like get things done on social media unless you're doing a specific group, Facebook group or something where you're researching something or catching up with certain people or whatever. So people are bored, number one. Number two, people are hurting. If they're on your email news, if they're if they're subscribed to their to your email newsletter, or if they follow you on your Facebook, you know, business page or your YouTube channel or whatever, that means they I get distracted because Buddy's too cute over here. <laughs> you could just look at him for the rest of the video. I'm, I'm really okay with that. That's why I, I zoom out so you can see him. That's really the purpose. So people, it's because you're bored, right? Because you'd rather look at Buddy. Uh, <laughs> Number two, people are hurting, right? They're, they're, they're subscribed to, to your content because they're trying, they're hopeful to heal that part of their life or to solve that problem in their life or to reach that goal. Whatever it is you, 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 you write about or speak about in your content, that's what they're there for. They're hurting and they want to, or they're, they're on the process. They're in, they're in the journey of healing or transformation. And that's why they're subscribed to your content. So you got to remember that. Okay. And number three is that they appreciate you when they see you. Otherwise, they wouldn't be following you anymore. Let's get really clear about this. They are still following. If you post something and someone sees it, that means they haven't unfollowed you. That means they actually appreciate your presence, right? They appreciate seeing you when they do. So with that in mind, now it's our turn to share with our audience. And if you share with the right intention, with the right consistency, frequency, okay, and with the right relevance, then you're doing a good job and that you should be sharing, you should be posting, you should be sending newsletters. So let me, let me, let me explain. With the right intention, do you, when you see someone post something on social media and you can tell they are, they're trying to be helpful, they're trying to connect um, with people, they, they want to help people, they, they're trying to do good in the world, you probably appreciate that too, right? Same thing. When you show up with a helpful intention, trying to connect with your audience, they appreciate that. Say the right intention, right? You're not trying to, you know, offend people, obviously. Obviously, otherwise you wouldn't be watching a video like this, right? Okay, so number one, 
you have the right intentions. You know you do, right? When, when you share content. Now, I, I should say uh, a possible kind of wrong intention or, or less than that less than optimal intention is when you're just sending newsletters because you're trying to sell something. And I know some of you probably are getting into that danger territory because you don't send enough email newsletters or you don't post enough on social. And every time you post, you're trying to sell something. And that's when that, that is a real question is, are you bothering people? Well, if every time you show up, you're trying to get them to buy something. Yes, that is a legitimate <laughs> question to ask. So, so it's the intention. Second one is frequency or consistency. If you send an email newsletter and you get more than 1% people unsubscribing. So if you, you, if you, if you have, you know, 1% is a threshold number. If you only have a hundred people, one person unsubscribing is 1%. It's unfortunate, but uh, I think if you have less than hundred people, the email newsletter software is more forgiving. Maybe you can have a couple people unsubscribe, but you have a thousand people. Every time you send it, 10 people or more unsubscribe, 1%. The email softwares, email newsletter, like MailChimp or Aweber or places like that, 1% is a threshold, meaning they're like, oof, if more than 1% people unsubscribe, something is not right here. And I'll tell you what's wrong. You're either your, your frequency is wrong or your relevance is wrong. Meaning frequency, are you, if you're sending it very rarely, you, you only send something once a quarter, like once every three months, six months, 12 months, of course, you're gonna get more than 1% unsubscribes because people don't even remember why they signed up for your newsletter. So you have to send it frequently enough. How frequent? Once a month. Once a month is a minimum frequency. I mean, once every three months is, is really bordering uh, on people forgetting about you, why they signed up. Once a month is a good minimum frequency. Now, what's a maximum frequency? Well, if they sign up for your newsletter and you didn't say how often, they're, they're not clear about that, once a month is probably good. If you send once a month already consistently, then you could start trying once every two weeks. And once every two weeks is a good maximum frequency unless they signed up for a weekly email. I mean, if you've been sending it once every two weeks for, you know, three, six months, let's say, and people are, you know, not unsubscribing at the 1% rate, less than 1%, then maybe you could start trying once a week. But once a month, start there, and then once every two weeks, and maybe once a week. I have an email newsletter where I send out once a week because people specifically signed up for once a week. When, they, when you sign up for an email newsletter, you'll notice you can either choose weekly or monthly. And then I just give you either weekly or monthly. That's it. Uh, I mean, that's the frequency. So, so first is intention. Check your intention. Are you only selling all the time? Or are you trying to be helpful, trying to connect, trying to entertain or trying to educate genuinely? Great, then your intention's good. Frequency, at least once a month, okay? or start with once a month. And then third one is relevance. Are you sending people on newsletter or posting on social media what they are expecting from you, what they wanted when they signed up to follow your content? Are you, are you sending what they want? If you're sending people what they want at the frequency they expect and they feel your intention is good, they're gonna appreciate your content. They're gonna appreciate your presence. So I hope that this is helpful to maybe unblock some of you in feeling too shy about sharing content. Just know that every time George Cow, before I press send, I feel shy also. I feel a bit nervous, but I've, I've gotten used to, you know, overcoming that. Anybody knows my video is about over <laughs> and you can leave the room now. So that's it. I hope this is helpful. As always, I'm open to your comments and your questions below. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm George Cow, Authentic Business Coach. I love uh, making videos and writing articles and selling courses to help you build a business that is thriving and that you genuinely love it because it aligns with your heart and it is genuinely helping people. And you can see that it's helping people. So, all right. I look forward to seeing your comments and I will see you in the next video. Take care.